Today we're gonna be messing around with the Hewlett Packard DL360 Generation 6. A lot of people think that I've joined the dark side and I'm now gonna go all HP. Not so, but if someone dumps some trash on your lawn, well you actually check it out before you throw it out, right? Ish. I'm just messing with you. We're gonna try out some stuff today and um, and as I haven't messed around a lot with Hewlett Packard servers, I have a few things that I want to test out. One of them is the um, hard drives. A lot of people claim that if you put in a non Hewlett Packard drive in a Hewlett Packard server, it will become very noisy. And um, yeah, I want to try that. And also, I have a non Hewlett Packard PCI Express uh, thingy. Also want to put that in, see if, if that is going to make it noisy. I was thinking about starting there, then we want to try and swap up the CPU and put in some more RAM. And I hope that I can do this fairly quick. We don't have to spend all day, I hope. So um, let's, um, let's get going. So in the server, I have a hard drive and it's a spinning disk and it's Hewlett Packard branded. Hewlett Packard, it says it all over it is in SAS drive, 300 gigabytes. Oh, is this? It might be. Oh, this is probably right. 10,000K, 6 gigabit SAS drive. And I have installed Server 2019 on there. So let's pop that in and power the server. And. It's really very quiet. Very noisy CD-ROM drive. And the server is booting and it's really very, very low noise. Oh. It became even less noisy. We can even see that the temperature in here is 22.2 degrees Celsius and the air humidity is 45%. And beep, beep, beep. And CO2 level is 680. It's not very noisy at all. And I just ran a performance test of this CPU in here, the Intel Xeon E5504. It's a really slow CPU, just barely faster than my toaster. Yeah, I think we should try and measure how loud this really is. So let's close that one. But I want to measure it while it's doing something. So I also got Cinebench 15. It's the older one. I don't believe it matters. And here I have my phone and I have some kind of a spectrum analyzer. I forget what this is called, but you can kind of see that it, it, it measures the voice level when I speak. If I shut up, it goes down. And the voice level in here is about 50 dB. So now this is a ninja setup. I have a ruler here. I'm measuring 50 centimeters from the middle of the server. Very scientific. And I'm gonna use the phone. And as the microphone is of course at the bottom of the phone because that's the, the way you talk, they, they placed it down here. I'm gonna be pointing the bottom of the telephone towards the server. And we're gonna do that while it's doing something. And hopefully I can get that number in view. That might be a bit hard, but let's try it anyway. Yeah, it never came above uh, 50 dB. Just look at me speaking. We're already up at 80, 70, 80, 83 dB. Just me speaking. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty much closer. So me speaking is about so about 80 dB, 75, 70 to 80 dB. And the server is like 50. Very accurate, 50 dB. So. Yeah, it's not noisy with the Hewlett Packard drive in it. And over here in Cinebench, the server did 188 CB. 
that's really bad. I have turned off the server. And it's still like 50 dB. So, um, well, I have a noisy home. Drive out. And I'm gonna ninja hack this. Um, I have a piece of cardboard just to raise it up from the bottom. And then this, oh, uh, Samsung SSD. It's um, 850 Pro, 512 gigabytes. Thank you very much. Uh, see if we can hit that connection in there. There we are. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the cardboard. This hard drive has server 2016 on it. Shouldn't really make any difference to how much noise the server makes. I don't think there is any difference. The server is booted, server 2016. And I just happen to have Cinebench on there, so I don't have to install it again. Awesome. Today's video is sponsored by me, uh, my Playhouse shop, where you can get your Hewlett Packard um, hard drive. I don't have many of those. You can also get your Hewlett Packard branded RAM. This is 16 gigabyte blocks that we're going to be putting in in a little bit. And also I have some of these CPUs. This is the Intel Xeon. X5650 that we're gonna be putting in a six core processor 2.667 gigahertz I believe is that right 2.66 gigahertz it's actually a little bit noisier now let's measure it Oh, an even more dreadful score, 126 CB. No idea why it got slower, might be 2016. So I wanna try and put this card in and see if that does any difference. I don't wanna do as much of a test, I just wanna put it in there and see if it goes berserk. I have, a, have an idea that it won't. I think maybe this server is all good, the generation six, we'll check it out. Okay, it, uh, it took forever to shut down. Apparently, <clears throat> I haven't had that hard drive in a computer for ages. So, uh, Windows update. Yeah, they, uh, they thought that they might have a few months worth of updates for me. So we're gonna put this card in, um, the riser. We're gonna put it over there, so I don't have to change the bracket. Also took the power plugs off, because I'm gonna be messing with the riser card. Yeah. I have released these two on the back. Four screws is really enough. Let's see, so we'll put that in over here. This card is just a PC Express card with an M.2 NVMe drive and an M.2 SSD drive. So uh, let's see if it uh, complains about that. I don't think it will, but I'll put this in and we'll listen. It's not noisy at all. It's very pleasant to have in the next living room. It's it's way less noisy than the IBM servers beneath it. Um, so yeah, not complaining. Let's replace the CPU and put in some more RAM. Okay, the server has shut down again. And once again, it took forever and ever. So must be a lot of updates for it. And we're gonna take the plastic off. Oh, I'm getting good at this. I'll take the CPU cooler off. Take this off. Take the CPU out. And we're gonna put this one in instead. The six core x5650 there put on some cooling compound 
I'm not gonna clean the the heatsink. Uh, there is still some goop on there, so we don't need too much here. There, I'll put this back together and we'll see if it boots. Okay, that is settled. It um, finds that CPU just fine. So I think I'm actually just gonna turn it off and um, put in some more RAM. Yeah, it takes a while. So everything up to 95 watts should be okay in this server. Oh, this got toasty just booting that up for a little bit. I have tested this on the IBM slash Lenovo servers and the X5675 has been the processor with the most power that I was able to put in a server like this. As soon as you get over 95 watts, you run into trouble and it should not work. If this is not the case in this server, please leave it in the comments below. But uh, yeah, you should be able to put in two X5675 in here, which is an almost 3.1 gigahertz processor. Let's take out the RAM. There are three RAM banks in this server and each bank has three spots. So um, yeah, and this is Samsung branded eight gigabyte Hewlett Packard RAM. So, Awesome, I'll take that out. And we're gonna put in this. This is SK Hunix RAM and it's 16 gigabyte blocks and it's a bit faster than the one that we are taking out. Yeah, this is 10,600R, this is 14,900R. This is 1,866 megahertz RAM. So this must be uh, 1,333 megahertz RAM. Let's pop this in and see if we can put in this amount. So nine blocks of 16 gigabytes. That should be 144 gigabytes. Let's see if it manages that. Okay, we see the CPU. So we should get some RAM in just a little bit. There, we have some new RAM. Is it complaining or is it just telling me? Well, it's actually testing the RAM. It's running some kind of a test down here. Yeah, it's happy with the RAM, 144 gigabytes. Awesome. So we see the CPU here and it's a 95 watt uh, max TDP CPU. So that is all good. Um, I ran the first benchmark test. It didn't do great, 4000, but it's still almost twice as good as the other one. So uh, yeah, I'm a bit surprised why it scored so low, but let's try the Cinebench here. Oh, we can in the meanwhile, well, it's already loaded. We can check the memory. And it has found DDR3 144 giga. Very nice. So let's try and run this with nothing else open. Oh, we also have this one open. Whereas the other one was a four core processor without hyper threading. This one is a six core processor with hyper threading. So we get 12 threads in here. Nice. So let's run. And it'll be working on that. Okay, 349 CB. Um, better, better, but still, um, well, the, it is twice as fast. So I must admit, it is doing very well. It's not very noisy. I can talk over it and yeah, way less noisy than um, many of the other servers that I've been messing with uh, for quite a bit here. Uh, especially that um, Sun Micro server that we had sitting here, also a one new server. That was way, way, way more noisy than this one. And it has just eaten everything that I just threw at it. I it took a PCI Express card inside without making more noise. It took a, well, 
also the Samsung SSD drive, this, um, these Pro drives, no problem whatsoever. We put in more RAM, that did not make it more noisy, it is branded Hewlett Packard RAM. And we also put in a new processor. I do believe it is a tiny bit more noisy, but it's really not much. Most of the stuff that I've shown in this video is stuff that I have in my little shop. So links in the description to uh, my Playhouse shop. Um, I have some more testing that I want to do with this a bit later on. Still want to see if it can do the SD card and the USB card at the same time. I did fix the power supply on the back so now it doesn't have a bad connection it was kind of a bad connection between the connector and the wire so i took the power supply out and i bent the the pins and they're just ever so slightly to each side and now it has a great connection to the cable so it was a, a minor fix let me just remind the patrons to go over to patreon and see my patreon videos over there you are forgetting to do that and also everyone doing folding at home together with me Awesome job, we have just entered top 300 here, um, well, tomorrow we're going to go into week number 5 and um, yeah, we're doing really great. It is of course getting harder and harder. So thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.